Why, hello, everyone. Come on over here. I have some exciting news. What's that, Colby? I just printed out some email that I received from Jessica's missionary town in Africa. <gasps> really? Did you actually talk to her online? No, remember, she's in a different time zone than we are. Her day starts when you all go to bed at night, so right now she's sleeping. But I did get this email addressed to all of you. Why don't you read it, Matt? Okay. Dear Colby and all my friends at Colby's Clubhouse, I'm doing fine here, except I miss all you guys a lot. Mm. We miss you too, Jess. Yeah. yeah. It's really great here. The people in this town really want to know more about Jesus. But how can she talk to them if she doesn't know their language? She's getting to that. <sighs> Right now, we have to talk to the villagers through an interpreter. But we're all working really hard to learn their language. What's an interpreter? That's when somebody who knows both languages tells the other person what you are saying. I really like the way the Christians here worship because they sing and dance using their whole bodies to praise the Lord. Please write me back as soon as you can, and I'll write you all back, too. I love you all. Jess. Oh, I'm so glad to hear from her. Yeah. yeah. Hey, Colby, I don't understand what Jess means by the African people praising the Lord with their whole bodies. Well, Kevin, God's people praise the Lord their own way all over the world. Some lift their hands to worship, others dance and sing, some do it quietly, and some do it loudly. Much of that depends on the culture which the people live. In Africa, for instance, people love to use their whole bodies to praise the Lord. came from Switzerland and Europe. I wonder how they worship the Lord. The culture there is a bit more reserved, Rachel, but Christians in Switzerland still love to praise the Lord in their own way, yodeling and all. Yodeling? What's that? Yodeling is how the Swiss find their goats, Danny. They yodel through the mountains and their goats come running. <laughs> so what does that have to do with worshiping the Lord? Well, it's just part of the culture. Come on, and I'll show you.
That was fun. Yeah. Yeah. That was really fun. Great. Colby, my parents and grandparents come from Mexico. Some of my family even come from South America. How do they praise the Lord there? Oh, there's a lot of salsa praise and worship in that part of the world, Gina. Wait a second. I thought salsa was something you eat with chips. <laughs> it's also a type of music, Peter. I can play it on my drums. <laughs> friends that are missionaries in Japan. How do the Japanese people praise and worship the Lord? Well, Danielle, all through the Orient, there are many wonderful brothers and sisters in the Lord, and there's a lot of traditional dancing done there, like this. <laughs>
You see how wonderful praise and worship can be in different countries? Yeah. I never realized that before. In Australia, it's winter down there when it's summer up here, and vice versa. So they call themselves Down Under, like it's upside down. I think it'd be fun to visit there. Well, we can do the next best thing. Praise and worship the Lord the Aussie way.